Today's video is about low to very low protein diets and essential amino acids and keto analogs of essential amino acids. Thanks for tuning in. This is Robert Galarowitz from Healthy Kidney Inc. Make sure to subscribe, okay, if you have it. And why I'm gonna talk about these two, uh, this diet with these two products that you can use. So what was called the Kodoki or KDO QI recommendations came out in 2020. And what these are, are nutrition recommendations for chronic kidney disease. Now this was brought out by the National Kidney Foundation as, long as, as well as other major organizations in kidney nephrology which is getting adopted. So this is the most current day diet recommendations for anybody with kidney issues, okay? So that's why we're covering this video. And in my uh, 16 years of experience working with uh, thousands of people with kidney issues and trying a variety of diets and using a lot of low to very low protein diets with essential amino acid keto analogs, it by far shows the best results of any other diet I've ever seen. That's if you're a candidate, okay, if, it, if you should try it or should do it, and if you're able to maintain it, the lifestyle, because um, depending, it's not so easy, but you know, in today's day and age with the vegan movement, it's getting way easier than ever before. So that's why we're gonna talk about it. Now, uh, I talked about who it was recommended by all the major organizations. I actually have the printout of all the updated ones. Okay, so it, it shows you here, National Kidney Foundation, uh, Academy of Nutrition Dietetics, a big uh, nutrition organization here in the US. And like I said, all the major organizations are recommending this now because it has really shown over time to be very therapeutic for kidney health issues. Now, when you eat low to low protein, okay, you're gonna be taking out uh, all your protein foods, your chicken, your fish, your eggs, your turkey, uh, any other beef, meats, pork, you're taking out beans, okay, you're taking out um, a lot of nuts and seeds if you have a lot of nuts and seeds in your diet because you're looking to reduce all the proteins so that you can reduce that workload on the kidney. Sounds good, it's great. Problem, okay, here's the problem. Now, if you don't eat protein, you become protein deficient and you will die sooner. Simple as that. How do you prevent becoming protein deficient? Well, you eat more protein, but then you're killing your kidney. And you probably heard this from a lot of nephrologists. They're always telling you to eat more protein, eat more protein, because they're worried about you becoming protein deficient because with a lot of kidney diseases, you leak protein. Okay, but it's the wrong approach because you're just damaging things further. But the mindset is that, well, at least you're not gonna die soon. We can keep you alive on dialysis and stuff. Okay, so the way to correct that is you either use essential amino acids, okay, which is broken down protein, okay, without all the toxins that your kidney has to filter. So you can use essential amino acid supplements or a medical food called keto analogs of essential amino acids, which is a better version, a much better version than using essential amino acids. The problem is keto analogs cost a lot. Okay, so that's always, that, that's always been the issue with it because the technology to make them and everything involved just cost a lot, okay? So, uh, and, and quickly, that's, that's, that's the low to very low protein diet with using either a supplement of essential amino acids or keto analogs of essential amino acids. And first of all, uh, you have to be a candidate for this. It's not great for everybody depending where you're at with your health. So uh, double check with your doctor. And we're also gonna be including a document because most doctors aren't gonna know about this. So you can email them or print out the recommendations by the major medical organizations here and just give it to them and say, um, you know, I'd like to try this. And they're gonna say, no, you know, it's not proven, uh, it's not founded. Most will say that. Uh, some of the up-to-date ones won't, but most will. And so you can say, well, I have this information here for you to look at by the National Kidney Foundation and uh, the American Journal of Kidney Diseases and you know, everybody else that's recommending it now. So we're gonna have that on our website underneath this video that you can just go to, click, don't have to sign up or nothing, and you can get all that to give to your doctor. Now, this diet isn't new. It's been out for over 100, 125 years to treat kidney diseases, the low to low protein diets. However, uh, they started the essential amino acids uh, research back in the 50s, um, progressed throughout time, was used in other countries. The person that brought it to the US, um, first person to write this book, that's really going over the low to very low protein diet, okay, with essential amino acids, was a Dr. Walser who did a lot of studies here. Uh, he passed away, but the work he did to bring this forward was amazing. So he wrote this in 2004. Um, our second book, uh, actually no, our first book, it was the second one I know on the market about low to low protein diets. I wrote around 2010 at this point, so 2012 maybe. Um, and so that's the history, okay? That's the whole history, how it came to the US. 
Now you're gonna do the low to very low protein diet, great. Now you gotta either decide if you're gonna do amino acids, essential amino acids, which is the broken down protein, okay, that doesn't have any of the toxins, or you're gonna do the keto analogs of essential amino acids, which is about 30% better than just using the essential amino acids. It's even less kidney toxins that your kidney has to deal with. So we have a whole web page dedicated to this that you can read about. You can click the link below this video in the description in the comment section. Our product of essential amino acids is called Pure Kidney. Okay, we give 210 pills per bottle. One of the problems with keto analogs or essential amino acids is you're gonna to have to take a lot of pills or powder, okay? And so it's gonna vary for your health. It could be anywhere from uh, seven to 10 pills a day, eight to 10, eight to 12, depending. Uh, and that generally goes for both products, the keto analog product, which is on our website, you can read about. Um, that's somewhere around that eight, nine area. I mean, it all varies. So, you know, having this type of diet with the essential amino acids or keto analogs, uh, it does come with issues with cost, okay? So you can see the different prices on our website and also compliance, right? It may not be the right diet for you. There's other good, great dietary things you can do. But especially if you're at the later stages, it's just something that you wanna think about. And as I mentioned, if you go to our website, we're gonna have all these printed out. It'll be right underneath this video. And you can just download the document. You can email it right to your nephrologist and bring it to them and say, like, I want to try this. Uh, it's recommended now. This is the current day recommendation. So if they say, don't do it, I don't like it, and they can't give you a good reason, like, well, you're not stable in your health, like, that's a good reason not to do it. Uh, if they can't give you a good reason, if they just don't understand it, well, that's where you have to make a decision on how important your health is and what you're going to do to help yourself, okay? Uh, you can always, always, always get the before and after blood work, 30, at least 30 days, I'd say 60 to 90, but that's the way you tell what's going on. So read more about it. If you decide to purchase any of these products, we give 60 days of email support uh, from kidney health coaches that can guide you along the way, answer questions. So that's email support for 60 days. Uh, but regardless, explore this opportunity for your kidney health because it can really do great things, especially in uh, later stages, but you need something to keep that protein levels up. Thanks for watching everybody to your best kidney health. Bye.